The history of Project Dundalk is a walk down our country Bhutan's memory lane, or should one be more correct to say, a ride down Bhutan's memory lane. To a time when the streets had no traffic. In fact, a time when there was no streets. Bhutan was, just 50 years ago, a landlocked country which existed in self-imposed isolation. A land rich with myths and legends where the only means of travel and transportation was either on foot or on horseback and yaks. The wise, far-sighted and compassionate guidance of the Drugyalpos for what is now over a century is how Bhutan has reached where it has in the global arena. It was in particular under the reign of the third Drugyalpo, Jigmi Doji Wangchuk, known to the nation and the world abroad as the father of modern Bhutan, that Bhutan's transition began. The construction of roads is, without any doubt, the most important infrastructure for the development of any nation, including Bhutan. Dantrak was established when Bhutan did not have any capacity to build roads on our own. Therefore, I would say Dantrak has come at the most important moment in our history. Dantrak is not just a partner. It's become one of the pillars of Indo-Bhutan friendship. I say this because it's a project which began 50 years ago in 1961. And in many ways, in the formative years of the emergence of Bhutan as a progressive and modern state, and the early years of India's independence, Dantak became a bridge by which people of both countries understood the importance of bilateral interaction to mutual benefit. In 1958, the first Prime Minister of Independent India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, visited Bhutan and met with Audru Gelpo. And that historic visit was when the two leaders agreed to open the gates of the land of the peaceful Thunder Dragon. While Bhutan had enjoyed peace and stability under the reign of the first and second Drugyalpos, the world outside its boundaries had experienced two world wars and had been transformed by the Industrial Revolution. The Bhutan we live in today is a recent metamorphosis. Grandparents themselves have witnessed this transition. From walking to driving to now flying. Project Dantak was initiated on April 24, 1961. The head of the entire project was Brigadier T.V. Jagannathan. In the initial years after the project's inception, the road works were carried out manually with explosives and traditional tools such as spades, crowbar, hammer and pickaxe. It wasn't until the mid-1960s that road work was mechanized. There are stories of Bhutanese locals 
asking the Dantak workers what they fed the bulldozers and some even trying to feed the machines grass. Project Dantak, over the span of five decades, has constructed roads in Bhutan which has accelerated her transition from a medieval Bhutan to what is now a modern Bhutan. Roads are like the veins of any nation's progress. Roads bring in food, makes communication faster and more efficient, makes the exchange of ideas, cultures, services and currency possible. A convenience used by everybody, but like the best of things in life, ignored and unappreciated. A massive industry in every country, realized but unfelt. Over the years, Project Dantak has constructed 1,700 kilometers of black dot roads over precarious and unimaginable terrain. The project has built bridges over icy glacial rivers and streams that flow with such power and speed. Bhutan's cliffs and hard rocks have been their greatest challenge and also the Bhutanese language, more so in the project's early years. Road cutting through hard rock stretches requires the use of explosives for blasting, which poses a high risk. Risk that often translates as an increase in the number of casualty. Over 1,100 names of Bhutanese and Indians stand recorded at the Dewathang Memorial. Over the making of this documentary, we came across a plaque on the roadside of the Trongsa Gyalapu Highway of a Dantak driver who had died under a landslide at a road cutting site in 1963. We find his name at the memorial amidst a sea of names. Currently, the casualty stands at 1,170 and counting. Other important works of Dantak include Project Dantak takes care of their workers and officers. The project has four schools educating children from nursery to class 7 at Daranga across the border at Sanrujongkar, from pre-primary to class 3 at Kanglung, a preschool at Paro and at their headquarters at Simtokha in Thimpu, they have a school that educates children from lower kindergarten to upper kindergarten. These schools are funded by various welfare funds and ventures such as the Takti Canteen. The students are provided with free uniforms and stationery. Speaking of canteens, two of such Danta canteens are forever cemented in the minds of many Bhutanese, especially Sharapsi alumni and travelers both Bhutanese and foreign who have traveled the Thimpu Finseling Highway. The Danta Canteen at Kanglung Tashigang 
and the Takti canteen in Chuka. Most Bhutanese have had their first taste of Indian dishes and snacks at these canteens. Sharapti was initially built by Project Dantak. The college has grown over the years to be the premier government-owned college. Some students currently enrolled in the college agreed for an interview. In case of anything, in case of development or business of people, the road is very important. Uh, roads are just blessing in disguise for the villagers, coming in means of transportation, whether of carrying commodities or everything else. Those places which are connected uh, with the roads are developing rapidly and uh, the villagers uh, where the road is uh, not accessible, their cash crops are sometimes uh, going in vain. Some students from Tingtibi also agreed for a quick question and answer session. <laughs> Most of the youth either did not remember or had a faint childhood memory of the project. Did you know that this road was uh, built by Project Danta? Yes, sir. Did you? Yes. Did you know? No. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I have heard about Project Danta, but I don't know much about it. No, sir. Did you know? Uh, I have heard about Project Dantak, but the whole concept is quite weak. I am familiar with the Project Dantak and I have seen the changes that are brought by the Project Dantak. I am familiar with the, this project and I feel this project is bringing a lot of development in our country. Project Dantak, in the words of Lempo Hishe Jimba, the Minister of Works and Human Settlement. I would like to express the gratitude of the royal government and the people of Bhutan to Dantak for the hard work and service to the people of Bhutan rendered for more than 50 years. The Indian ambassador shares his thoughts with us. If a project can bring people together in an embrace which is of verifiable interest to that country and it becomes a reason for both countries to become closer in other areas, not only in terms of roads, but in terms of understanding, empathy, friendship, affection, cooperation, collaboration. If it becomes a bridge for that. So I see Dantak not as only a development project. I see Dantak as a bridge between India and Bhutan in the very important and sensitive formative years of both countries. Working in the dust, the snow, ice, rain, and dangerous life risking cliff faces, Project Dantak has assisted Bhutan to gracefully embrace the future rather than rush into it. The chief engineer, the commander, his officers and workers of the project speak to us. In the course of last 50 years, we've had the rare privilege of working very closely with the entire spectrum of the Bhutanese society and make whatever little contribution and being a partner with them in their development. Uh, the primary task which my task force has been executing is the double laning of uh, Funshling Thimpu uh, Road from class 9 specifications to national highway double lane specifications. You would have noticed when you came uh, from Thimpu, uh, the roads are being double laned and this has resulted in uh, a huge increase in the uh, traffic. It has also enabled uh, commercial vehicles to ply on the road uh, in, more, uh, uh, in more frequency and uh, this will I am sure definitely bring more prosperity to the country of Bhutan. New challenges that we get like this place this Damchi Chukha cutting which is going on. So at places there are uh, like you might have seen those hard rock portions which have come. So it requires a lot of uh, work to be done, a lot of blasting and uh, not forgetting the importance of life of the my men which are working under me. <laughs> 
हर एक चीज को फैसिलिटी दी रहा है इचा जस्तो अबो कसैला अबो चोट पटक लागियो छुट्टी दी रहा है इचा कसैला अबो दुख तकलीफ भायो कोई अबो के कारण ले अबो कोई कताई एक्सीडेंट भाया रा खासदा खेरी बनी हमेला कंपेंसेशन पाय रहा है इचा बुचनीज यंग एंड ओल्ड शेयर देयर सेंटिमेंट्स ऑन प्रोजेक्ट डांटाक्स अचीवमेंट्स � not only in terms of uh, food commodities, but in other ways also, like you know, clothing and uh, uh, so many building materials. And then now, uh, to be precise, I think road is the main uh, development, uh, you know, uh, means. Tanle phaya te da, yama ben te kewa tu misula, bag na ke misu babala. Da karilam heni digi te phat tanle ya khatule ya te kewa tu karilam. बम थे बम तू सालो बम ना तू ते छुंगो टेक ले तू सब टेक ले तू बेटा फल भाई कारण नाम से मिंडोला था तेरे टेंडर शुगी का जिंदा तेरे किरीपी रो करने में लंबी सेले शिम सोना तेरे छुंगी थे कहने बेरो तेरे ये मनम समी चिल की मीनम समी ला ताकि चुलम सुवान सुन बेरा टूरिस्टा तेरे लंच में बे but now the last few years I've seen that the road is more white and it's, it's bigger and the condition is much better. Actually now we enjoy traveling this road. Yeah. ก็ดีนะเว้ยที่ปุระยิ่งแบบกังตัวเบเกอร์ล่ะเออรูดมาจากอาชุงกินน้ำสามีกี่ตัวเต็มเดลล่าเช่กะรีชูเช่นั่น
from early morning to late in the evening, Dantak officers and workers go to work in a foreign country. But as foreigners, they have never been treated by the people and especially the Drugalpos. Since the time of the third Drugalpo, our monarchs have always welcomed Project Dantak. The project share their feedback on the local authorities and public support and assistance. These achievements of constructing almost 1600 kilometers of roads and bridges across the length and breadth of this mountainous kingdom and numerous other construction projects which have been executed would not have been possible without the kind benevolence of their majesties through Gelpos and the love and affection and assistance that we have got from the people of Bhutan. Uh, one blessing which we have received is that uh, we always get very good support from all the people, more so from the friendly people of the Royal Kingdom of Bhutan. Uh, this is a prestigious project for us in that we uh, get an opportunity to make world class roads and also show our prowess to, the, uh, to a friendly neighboring country. In that, I must say that as and when, wherever, whomsoever I have interacted with, uh, people have been very supportive of us. Uh, people have been very forthcoming to uh, uh, lend their support uh, in terms of whichever uh, way they can. And uh, overall, I am sure uh, the people of Bhutan are happy with the roads which we are making. I must uh, admit in this regard that the continuous support and the uh, help that has been provided by the Trashigang Zhongkhag and the locals of the Trashigang uh, division has been instrumental in 63 RCC achieving the type of targets that it has achieved in this sector. And I would like to thank all the people and all the local administration, administrative people for the continuous assistance and the support they have provided. It feels that we are working not in an alien country, but we are at home. Project Dantak has also been a witness to Bhutan's recent transition from monarchy to democracy. One could compare roads to life itself, taken for granted, until one travels down an unpaved road or have had to walk for miles. Our visionary monarchs have molded our country into a single image of gross national happiness. They have, with the assistance of Project Dantak, in a manner of speaking, ironed the hills, peaks and passes for the current generation. We, the Bhutanese, now stand together on level ground with everything a citizen in the world craves for. Free education, free medical care, and most importantly, a government and a king that loves and genuinely cares for every citizen. Project Dantak has been an integral part of this building of visions and dreams into reality. The project currently, having handed over much of its roads over to the Royal Government of Bhutan, continues to assist Bhutan in the new millennium with the double laning of the 180 kilometers of the Tashigang Samrujongka Highway and 29 kilometers realignment of the nation's lifeline, the Thimpu Finseling National Highway. Captain Joshi, who is supervising the works from the northern Thimpu side, echoes the project's commitment and dedication to Indo-Bhutan friendship in two simple sentences. I would like to say that uh, we are not building roads, we are building relations. We, the Bhutanese, stand a nation small but strong, for we stand together, united as one nation, one people. Roads are the engines upon which Bhutan and every country in the world functions. 
Bridges have helped us cross over the river of apathy and made us feel and experience empathy. Well, uh, not only me, the whole uh, Bhutan, whole Bhutan uh, people should be very grateful to Dantak because they were the force. They were the people who introduced Bhutan to the outer world. Dantak le Our monarchs, the government, the Indian government, and the officers and workers of Dantak. The Golden Jubilee celebration of Dantak is not only a celebration of the success of Dantak, but I would like to say it's a fitting tribute to those officers and workers who have sacrificed their very precious human life in the service of the people of Bhutan. The people of Bhutan will remain eternally grateful to all those officers and, and men who have laid down their lives. You see, jubilees come and go. The important thing is, how do we remember what has been the journey? One is a celebration of an event, the other is a recollection of an epoch. And when we look at these 50 years of Dantak, it's a period where we recall not only achievement, but also sacrifice. After all, over a thousand lives from in Indian lives have been sacrificed. But happily, their deaths were not a happy event, but the fact that they were partners in such an important project and had to even give the supreme sacrifice of their life, that is something which has a lesson for us. Today, as we strive to achieve even higher standards and enter fields of sophisticated technology, we look forward to the co continued patronage of His Majesty the Druk Gelpo, the enlightened vision of the Royal Government of Bhutan and love and support of the people of Bhutan. The lives that have sacrificed their breaths will best be honoured if we the citizens bear in our hearts and minds that we grow as a nation towards an enlightened vision of a developed Bhutan, of a shared national consciousness which will one day manifest as gross national happiness. <laughs> The lives that have been laid down for the construction of Bhutanese roads should serve as a supreme testament of Indo-Bhutan friendship and also as an eternal reminder that we are just different in name or nationality. For in our pursuit for survival and happiness, we are same.